watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new knife from Rosecraft Blades that just came in. It was just released this week. And a quick look at the packaging at the website address there on the outside. This little material tab pulls out. You get a hollow section there and then the foam insert. It says a really good job of protecting the knife and shipping. So I'm really pretty pleased with these boxes. This is model number RCT010. This is the Lusahatchee Jack. And this is what we're looking at. So they're calling this a jack knife. It's 3 and 5 eighths inch length. Um, you could probably argue that it's a Barlow as well. But those are typically a little smaller. Generally 3 and 3 eighths inches. But I do see them bigger as, as well. So if you wanted to call it a Barlow, I'm not going to be one to argue with you. But you get stainless steel bolster there with a satin finish as well as a steel shield. This is a rosebud shield. Of course, in, in keeping with the Rosecrap Blades name there, makes a lot of sense. You get these, I believe, nickel silver pins here. And, of course, the blade steel is D2. And we'll take a look at the blade in a moment. But you get steel liners on this instead of brass. That gives it a little bit more heft. Uh, seems a little heavier than you might expect for a 3 and 5 8 inch knife. Very well constructed, not seeing any gaps there at all. The handles are tight to the liners and the liners tight to the spring. Looks very good, no rough or edginess along the bolster. The elbow of that maybe just could use a touch of rolling over. A little bit sharp, but inside of the liners feel good. All the edges of the knife pretty smooth maybe just one little rough area back here at the back otherwise really good the other side of the knife is uh, consistent with the handle color on the other but I will get into more about that if you look at the jigging pattern on this they're calling this dragon scales well, you can kind of understand that but really more to me it looks like little deer tracks run and uh, little rows you can see they're almost like little hoof prints from uh, like a white-tailed deer or some type of animal with a similar foot you know hoof print but yeah and I like this little line here on the bolster that gives it a nice little touch so pretty happy with that now what I'll say about the handles is I'm not real super pleased with the coloring on them I feel like they don't really look like what was on the website. I'll give you a picture, kind of compare, and you tell me. Now, does that look like the same thing? Because the darkness in the areas that are recessed underneath those little hoof print things, uh, not really dark in there. It's very splotchy. you got some areas a little darker than others, but all in all, not really consistent like the one in the picture. And it's kind of the same on both sides. I mean, you really have very little darkness inside those grooves. So I don't know if maybe I got a knife that's maybe not consistent with what the pictures are showing. I'd be interested to see when JB reviews. Uh, I'm sure he'll review this knife at some point if his handles look more like the picture or more like mine. But that was a little bit of a disappointment for me. Um, you know, this is a $58 knife. Very much like a Rough Rider Reserve in terms of quality. You got good centering on the blade. And very well made. If we look at the clip point blade, I'm very happy with it as well. You've got D2 blade still on this, a long pull, nice satin finish. And it's got a lot of belly to it. Very much like an English style clip point blade, but a little more blot body to it and a little less curve in the clip. But otherwise, it does look very similar to a uh, uh, more British-style clip-point blade. There you can see the swedging at the top there. And he's a uh, big fan of the swedging, and you generally see that on his knives. And if we look at the tang stamp here, we've got RCB, and then says Rose Craft, and then Blades below it. On the opposite side, we have... Uh, a little plastic label sticker that can be easily removed that says China on it. And then on the tang, we've got Andy's uh, signature logo there. It says D2 Steel. Again, these are D2 Steel blades. 
and you've got the model number there RCT010. Now it looks to be a flat grind on this, so I'm betting this one probably is a pretty good little slicer. Doesn't appear to be hollow ground. And I bet that's pretty thin behind the edge. It certainly feels it. So I'm betting this was a pretty good little slicer. But if we measure the clip point blade, we get a, a measure of two and three quarter inches. And then the cutting edge is right at two and a half. So definitely UK legal all day long. The pull on this knife might be my favorite feature. Let's just have a listen. Great lockup, great half stop, and great close. All very positive action. Very, very well done. Very good confidence in the use of this knife. You don't even need to worry about choking up on that choil. You've got no issues there. I'd say about a seven and a half pull, if not stronger. And the action on it is just very positive. Everything snaps into place. So, wonderful action. I can't say enough about how well they did on that. And, again, I like the clip point blade on this knife. I'm a big fan of jackknives as it is. And then you give me a, a nice, healthy-bodied clip point blade. I'm liking that a lot. So my only disappointment with this knife is just the handle coloring. I'm not uh, just not a fan of how it looks there. I may try to do um, you know my own hand at trying to recolor this in a different way. Maybe try to make it look a little better, improve on it a little bit. But as it is, um, I don't know if all of them are going to be this way. So it's hard for me to really assess if this is just how they're going to be or if it's my knife alone. But uh, time will tell. But uh, that's going to do it for my review, guys. Again, this knife is $58 over at Rosecraft Blades. You can use Big Red EDC code over there to save 5% and end up maybe paying for a little bit of the shipping to your door. But yeah, right at that $58 mark. I think it's a good value. They are very much like the Rough Rider Reserve knives, obviously. Got centering, good centering on the blade. Um, and just what you might expect from Andy's uh, style of knife. And again, like a Rough Rider Reserve, built very much the same way. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. Oh, and please do join me and Slippy Saturday, tomorrow, at 10 a.m. Central Time, 4 p.m., uh, UK time. I'm trying to get this video up tonight so you have one last remor reminder to uh, join us. And uh, so hopefully this video will be up before uh, the live show begins. But if you guys join us there, we're going to be give giving away some knives and I think you'll really enjoy it. We'll see you there and we'll see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.